pretty interested in the idea of the horticulture of ferns, how a fern makes it into the horticultural world, and what ferns that are here in La Selva might be appropriate for entry into the horticultural world. I got this book, another book from the Fairchild Garden in uh, Miami, that's by F. Gordon Foster called Ferns to Know and Grow. And he talks about indoor ferns, so houseplant ferns as well as outdoor ferns. And I was actually struck to find out that two of the ferns that we have here actually made it into the plant world, the horticultural world, but they actually don't seem entirely appropriate. So this is the Hemionetus palmata, and it's the ivy-leafed fern, and it's in this book, but it says that um, it must have excellent drainage for survival, and it's an interesting fern. I don't see it as becoming huge in the indoor fern world, but maybe it is. And then another fern that I was surprised to see in this book was an Ophioglossum, which is this uh, adder's tongue. And here at La Selva, we have Ophioglossum reticulatum, but in this book, they have Ophioglossum anglomanii and Ophioglossum vulgatum. But both of these are considered too small to be considered usable in horticulture. So it may be that every single fern that I'm working with here at La Selva actually is part of the horticultural world. That's certainly a world that I don't know anything about. But there are a couple of ferns that I think would be particularly appropriate in the indoor plant world in temperate zones. And one of them is uh, the shoestring ferns. These vitarias are really hardy and they, they look nice. Here's a little one, but this big one right here is, um, I don't know how they propagate. I usually find these as big chunks that fall out of the canopy. But I think this would be a magnificent houseplant. And then this little Olfersia cervina is, uh, these seem to do really well also. And they, this is quite a small one, but I've got one that's a meter tall and they have brilliant emerald green foliage and they have the fertile spikes are very striking. So I'm just really kind of taken with this idea of what of these ferns that are out here in the rainforest would actually make reasonable houseplants? And what are the criteria for getting something from the forest into the houseplant world? So I might look into that. I've contacted a couple of friends that, uh, friends who are in the horticultural world, like Ed Cobb at Cornell. And so I've been asking him, you know, how does one break into the horticultural world with, with a fern. And so, I, you know, I'm not sure that I really want to do that. I'm just getting quite curious about how that process works, since that's just a world I know nothing about. But someday, maybe we'll see these as houseplants in uh, Boston, Texas, England, and I think they would do just fine.